Puerto Rico, Island of Enchantment. Join us in this video to explore another beautiful beach in this tropical paradise. Hello! Today we're going to go on a road trip to the northwest coast of Puerto Rico to the town of Aguaria to see the beautiful beach Punta Borinquen Beach. And on the way we're going to stop at a gelato place in Toa Alta called Amore Gelato and Coffee Bar. We hope you enjoy this beach road trip with us. Today our road trip starts with a 1 hour and 40 minute drive from San Juan to the town of Aguaria on the northwest side of the island. We stopped for gelato and Toa Alta on the way since it's always a good time for ice cream. Gabby had coconut and passion fruit, but I went for the traditional Italian flavored tiramisu. Puerto Rico is such a beautiful island, filled with adventure and so much to see. To get to Punta Borinquen, just drive past the golf course, and there's plenty of free parking at the beach. is the trail to the lighthouse that is to the left of the beach when you come in. And this trail is beautiful and so well maintained. Such a variety of plants and you can see the ocean. It's gorgeous. The old lighthouse trail is such a lovely short stroll on the left side of the beach. It's maintained by a group of volunteers called Rescate Playas Borinquen and it's very well kept. Such a nice relaxing nature walk with the soothing sound of the ocean in the background. We're here at Punta Borenquen Beach, a beautiful beach in Aguaria, Puerto Rico. And this is one of the lovely views along the path that runs along the left side of the beach. And as you can see, there are lots of activities on this beach. You can take a nice walk. You can even ride horses. And supposedly to that side, to the right of the beach, there are some sea caves that you can reach at low tide. The Lighthouse Ruins Trail is a must-see if you visit this beach. The ruins are located near the abandoned Raimi Air Force Base in Aguadilla, very close to the airport. These ruins are a historical site dating back to 1889 when the lighthouse was built by the Spanish government. Due to erosion and a big earthquake in 1918 followed by a tsunami, the structure was badly damaged and a replacement lighthouse was constructed in 1920. If you go to the side of the ruins, you will find a path that leads you to the beach and some amazing scenery. You can walk on the rocks and admire the beauty of nature, enjoy the sounds of the crashing waves, and see how many years of erosion can form incredible shapes in the limestone. Now we're going to explore the right part of the Punta Borincan Beach. Who could have guessed that you can do so many activities in just one place? Definitely Puerto Rico is the island of enchantment and we are blessed to be able to experience firsthand what nature has to offer. This beach doesn't disappoint. It has a beautiful coastline and is a peaceful place to contemplate the ocean without huge crowds of people. At low tide, you can discover sea caves and swim between the big rocks. From beautiful soft sand to a rocky path, we found ourselves on a super fun hike. The tide was too high and the water was too rough for us to reach the sea cave, but it was a fun challenge to walk as far as we could. We'll be sure to come back another time when the tide is lower.
adventure of the day, we're visiting our favorite barbecue place ever, Twyford's Barbecue in Isabela. Just 15 minutes from Playa Punta Borinquen and with an incredible view of its own. Today, Gabby's enjoying the mouth-watering brisket. I always get the pulled pork sandwich. Everything on the menu is fantastic as they are award-winning barbecue artists. This is truly the best way to finish off an incredible road trip. Delicious food and a breathtaking view. What else could we ask for? So long, take care and come back now, see ya. Go out, live, explore, and enjoy life. If you like travel in nature, please hit subscribe and we'll see you on our next adventure.